Good morning, and thank you all for joining us today at the University of Michigan Museum of Art. We're very excited about the uh, opening of Noguchi Shibashi last night with the Sloan program, and this continues the festivities of um, celebration and evaluation and rethinking history, contemporary criticism that relates back to these two individuals and the trajectory of what's coming forward, uh, which always excites us. So my name is Joe Roser. I'm the director of the University of Michigan Museum of Art. And my colleague here is Jenny Dixon, the director of the Noguchi Foundation and Museum and Garden. I will say a bit about the show. Jenny's going to talk about the book. Um, the exhibit we're thrilled to have here, it's a compilation of works from our collection, from the Noguchi collection, special lenders, and wonderful institutions that also have these works. So it's a nice bringing everything together to be seen through a new lens. I'd like to thank Natsu Obe, our curator, for coming up with an idea of combing our collection, bringing some new ideas forward, and then bringing together other colleagues, and Alexandra May, who is a consultant to us on the show and the publication to bring her historical knowledge to the table as well. And I know that uh, Natsu will be thanking all of the uh, respondents and contributors today, and Jen will be thanking people for the book. I'd also like to thank our crew at the museum. We're a very small team of maybe 40 people, but everyone comes together in a great way and loves art and loves what museum culture is about, and I think it's reflected in the installation upstairs and the care for everything. We're also very lucky to have our Asian Conservation Lab, which did some wonderful work on our pieces, the Noguchi Museum's works, and others. So it's wonderful to have that kind of legacy within this building that reflects Michigan and its commitment to quality of thinking and scholarship. So um, on that note, I'd like to thank our sponsors. And we do have a few, so if you don't mind, I just want to read that. Our sponsors for the exhibition are also the sponsors for the symposium. And I think that says a lot about the quality of the exhibit and the publication, because they really felt strongly that we needed the third component, which is what today is about, completing this kind of triangulated experience, which completes um, current thinking on where we're going. So as my eyesight is slowly but surely you know, going away, I do need to get my glasses. I'd like to thank the Terra Foundation for American Arts for their support, the National Endowment for the Arts. Additional generous support, which is Michigan, is the University of Michigan Center for Chinese Studies and Confucius Institute and the Blakemore Foundation. Those institutions right there, I think, collectively just speak to the quality of what this is all about, and we're thrilled to be here. And now I'd like to introduce Jenny Dixon. Thank you, Joe. Um, it's really such an honor and pleasure to be here. It's been about at least three or four years, and I think that Alexandra started this concept quietly even maybe 10 years ago, and Natsu picked it up, and it's been wonderful coming together of ideas and thinking and exploration and uh, collaboration. So I'd like to thank you, Joe, for uh, saying yes. <laughs> so here we are. Uh, in terms of the publication, um, we're all very excited, we at the Noguchi, uh, my colleagues, uh, Heidi Coleman's here who edited uh, the, the book along with Amy Howe who's on a much needed vacation. Uh, but I wanna really acknowledge them for their incredible work and dedication to this book. Because the book will live on in all of our memories, this exhibition will exist. But there is new scholarship, there are new ideas, there's new exploration of the relationship between Noguchi and sheep by sheep, but also looking at China and Japan and those relationships at that time. And of course, those relationships are something that's happening now again. So it's extraordinarily relevant, and we are very hopeful that it will, uh, the exhibition and the catalog will have a life in Asia beyond its American tour. It comes to New York in September. It will be in a smaller venue because we're smaller. And then it goes to the Fry, and I don't know how big the Fry is, but it's fun to see a show in different places because it has a different life in different places because of our spaces. Uh, I'd like to agree and uh, uh, second the thanks that uh, Joe has given, particularly to the Terra Foundation. It's huge for us. It's the first support we've received from this very, very major American foundation. And they're just beginning to extend their reach into Asia. Um, they support American modernists predominantly in Europe, and now they're interested in also going into Asia, which again speaks to the timeliness of this exhibition. 
Also, our diminished but ever wonderful National Endowment for the Arts, I'd like to thank them. And there's a foundation uh, based in Vermont that uh, supports Asian cultural uh, efforts, and that's the Freeman Foundation. So thank you, and thank you for being here. And I really look forward to learning a lot today, as I guess all of us do. Thanks, Joe. And Natsu, here's to you. Thank you. Natsu, uh, would you join us so you can start our morning off?